What's going on, YouTube? All you fancy watch collectors. Everybody just catching this on the replay, man. We're just going to have a little quick conversation, man. And I do mean quick. Uh, let me do my watch check for today. This evening, man, I have on, oh, you see that, glycine. Uh, yeah. That's the air, man. It's really nice. Really, 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 really nice watch. So, anyway, um, let's talk. I was actually going to do a video. Um, that's like a regular video, but I said, man, you know what? Um, I want to get some live reactions, man. And if you catch on some replay, man, please put down in the comment section, um, what you feel about today's topic, which I'm going to talk about watches and wonders, which I didn't go. Uh, I'm also going to be talking about, um, other watch events, man, because there is an event coming up. What's up, Rob? There's an event coming up, uh, near my hometown, which is up in Kokomo. And um, we have wind up. So San Francisco, which I think that's this weekend. I could be wrong. But I know the one in Chicago is July 12th. I know that because that's my birthday. So let's jump into it real quick, man. So I have looked at, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five videos on Watches and Wonders. And what I've gathered uh, from what people have put up so far one was really good. One was extremely good. And it was just the quality of um, Ellie. I believe it was a female uh, watch reviewer. She, uh, man, she did a great job, man. Like, it was crazy. Like, how she called it. She gave you do's and don'ts. Kind of gave you instructions on how to go about and asking questions. But it kind of left me feeling some type of way. And I'm going to tell you why. But before I get into what why I felt, What's up, Skylar? Uh, T. Huff, what's going on? Welcome in, y'all. Big dog. Um, here's my thing. This is what I feel because I've been to other watch events. Uh, I've been to Microlux, which is now Minutes and Hours, and I've went to Wind Up. And the way Ellie caught, I want to say, I think I'm saying her name right. Um, she captured everything. The the trip there, and she gave commentary. Her her video so far of everybody I watched on Watches and Wonders, <clears throat> content on Watches and Wonders, she had, like, the best video to me. Um, but it kind of left me feeling like hers and everybody else kind of made me feel like Watches and Wonders was kind of like, eh. It wasn't as hype as it was last year. So uh, the engineer was, like, I guess the watch of – um. I'm not going to say it was the best watch, but I know they talked about it so much. So, but my takeaway last year was the Panerai. That whole Panerai display was crazy. So, uh, I take it that Rolex didn't do a good job this year. People were kind of like, it's lackluster. But Tudor and Cartier, from what I gathered so far, Tudor and Cartier was the runaway hit. But then I watched some other videos and... There were people that I've watched their channels, I've watched their reviews, and they have some expensive watches on their, their channel at times, above 5000 And from what this uh, YouTuber was, was saying, if you had, um, you know, if your budget was anywhere from two to $5,000, get lost because they focused on watches that were way more. So Tudor... And I want to say, what was the other watch? A Tudor was the runaway. Um, Cartier, great. And all the other watches and the companies that, that were there were up. And they showed, like, I saw some pictures. And it was great, man. The technology that they, they you know, showcased. I actually looked at a lot of those watches. It was great. And it was one of those where, you know, if you asked for a you know, look at a watch that was like $15,000 or above, it was, you know, just based off the videos I looked at, it was almost like an uncomfortable, like, well, you really don't want to ask them, but don't be afraid to ask. They're either going to say, yeah, you can look at it or no. And I was like, I don't like that. You know, I don't like that. I think it's a great concept, but, you know, yeah, I, I, if I flew all the way to Switzerland, which uh, I think to get those tickets, they were uh, like 70 bucks, 70 bucks or $77 or something like that. Hello from South Carolina. Yo, Adam, what's going on, brother? I'm going to be talking about you tonight, too. So, Jess, what's up, Paul? So, uh, just hold tight. I'm going to get to you and a couple of other companies. So, 
here's my takeaway from not being able to go to that Switzerland deal. Uh, and from what I saw, <laughs> the videos I saw, I don't think I would even want to take a chance or risk. I mean, it's not risking. Uh, I think going to Switzerland is dope. I saw like a lot of Switzerland. It, I think it'll be a great place to go visit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, never been to Switzerland. I've been to Ireland and um, Europe, parts of you, a part of Europe, but which are beautiful, beautiful spots. But like, I, you know, I, I wouldn't want to go to that wind up place, man, just to go. And if there was an expensive watch or something that was like, groundbreaking they was like okay you gotta step behind this glass and look at it I'm like no i want to get my hands on i want to feel it i want to check it out and see what it look like on the wrist that's what i like about wind up and the uh micro brand uh spots and this one i want to ask you guys this since you guys in the chat take it try okay you going to Kroger's? <laughs> or uh what we say k roger um how do you guys feel about micro brands I've had some conversations uh, with some people about uh, micro brands and independence. Um, what do you think? Like, if you don't have any in your collection, is that something that you will consider getting? Now, I want to talk about, um, I think Tudor, what's up, House X? Tudor is an amazing watch. It is. It is an amazing watch. And you can get a Tudor for like, what, four grand, five grand, somewhere around there. Uh, and I know they got the new GMT. And... Like I said, that was like the takeaway. But what about the people that's spending, I mean, just under $1,000? That's my thing. The people that's under $1,000, because there are a number of people. Uh, you may like those watches. You may like to get, you know, get your hands on an uh, engineer or um, some type of IWC, you know. But when you look at the price, you're like, uh, I'm priced out. I can't do that. And, I mean, shoot, a thousand dollars may be may be too much for me. Um, love micro brands, have two of them. So Constitution and Trafford Crossroads. Oh, the Trafford Trafford is a good good company. Paul is in here. What's going on, man? Dave D. Dave D. Say I don't like micro brands, and this dude got the most. He got the most micro brands. How do you not let people touch your watch when? They pay and fly to see them. That's crazy. I can't wait to vent about it. <laughs> yes, bro. And I want to see you vent. Oh, my gosh. I'll get so excited watching your Man, bro, you are a breath of fresh air on this. Man, bro. If you were. Boy, boy, boy. Okay, you know what? I will consider you, uh, let's see, KRS-One of watch reviews, man. Bro, if this was hip-hop, bro, which in a way it kind of relates. Do you? Yeah. I can't wait to see this. What's up, Kenny? My favorite watch from Watches and Wonders, uh, that IWC Super Comp. Uh, that thing looks stunning. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. I love my Traffic Crossroads. Got the Texas uh, Blue Bonnet color. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Paul. Paul, Paul, Paul. Um, Let's just say, let me let me just go here with you guys because I went to... um. Gosh, where did I go to? <laughs> Trifecta. I was about to say minutes and hours. I went to Trifecta today and I actually picked up some stuff. Where is it at? Oh. So I got some stuff that's going to be going out. Some straps. <laughs> y'all know who y'all are. Y'all will be getting straps. I'll mail those out tomorrow. And having a conversation with Jake and Mark and... Um, the day before that, I was I went to Kokomo and had a conversation with the guys over there, Kokomo Country, which uh, we'll talk a little bit about that here in a second. But just talking about watches in general, man, like I get this excitement about watches. Now, I've been in multiple, you know, Reese Nichols is about to have an event next week, starting next week. I think it's like a two or three day event, two day event. And they may have the cars out there. Um, I'll go by there and uh, get some footage. But uh here's my jam here's oh, not my jam here's my deal is there is so much language when it comes to these different watches now i get it i get it man i'm not knocking the history of some of your favorite watch brands whether it be um ap uh, uh patek and rolex 
and whatever other watches i can't even think other watches that cost ten thousand dollars or more that may be your your move like you may want to have one of those watches in your collections at one point but if you are currently in a position where let's say eight hundred dollars is your max you're like hey i can spend up to eight hundred dollars and that's gonna hurt me a little bit but and you have to ask yourself what what is it that you want or you know, there are some people that we've talked on here before, being brutally honest, uh, they buy just for the name. They buy just for the name. Uh, for the sake, case in point, I want to bring up a watch that I've shown this watch multiple times. Uh, there was actually a gentleman that um, looked at the watch. I don't know if he went. He, I know he went to the website. He said he went and bought it. I'm not sure. But I showed him this. He loved it. Right? This is the, uh, my Muschner from the Fletterman uh, Von Reese watch group. Right? And I've shown this watch multiple times, the Lorraine Cross right there. Um, one of my favorite watches, right? And right now, that small seconds on watches are going crazy. Small seconds hands at that 6 o'clock are going crazy. So if you're catching this right now, go over to the Fletterman Von Rees watch group and or the watches. Just put it, Fletterman Von Rees. And uh, I have videos on them, man. If you don't know, like, you can go to the video Type in Trap and Fletterman Von Reese, whatever, and click the link below. You will go straight there and this, boom. He actually got some other stuff that's coming up, which that is, I mean, we're going to talk because I know Adam's in here. Uh, I'm going to get Adam on here. Strat Vision 3. <laughs> What's up, come on? What's up, brother? But it is also, whoa, 400,000? You need to hit the Powerball. Independent brand is the way for me at the moment. Okay. My favorite. Okay. Jeez, 400K. Woo, bro. Ooh. What they say, clutching your pearls, bro? God, dog. 400,000? Hey, and that's, and I'm not knocking, I'm not knocking it, man. Um, I had a conversation about the uh, one watch, um, the Richard Mill, the Richard Mill. Uh, and the Richard Mill is a hit or miss with people. Some people love it to death. Some people hate that watch just like with a passion. They think it is garbage, right? I wouldn't call it garbage, man, because if you see the way it's built, the watch is solid, man. Handmade, bro. Like the watch is, this a solid timepiece, man. And that is what watchmaking is all about, man. That is, it is a different vibe, you know? Uh, and I am, let me tell you this. I can't talk for any one of y'all. But I personally, I get so critical of watches, and I've called the watch trash before. And I, you know, I have to sit and think. I said, you know what? Somebody actually put that watch together. They put like time and effort, the R and D. I don't know what goes into some of the R and D. I've actually talked to Adam about how he do his stuff. So I think, you know, for me, talking to that's one thing I love about, uh, you know, the wind up and uh, minutes and hours because. You get to talk to the actual watchmakers, the people that's actually putting it together. And you can, like, literally, it's like you got a microphone, you know what I'm saying? And you're interviewing them right there on the spot, and they're telling you everything. Uh, and I give so much credit to uh, the team over there at Christopher Ward because their booth, when you go to a Christopher Ward booth, and I've been to it, like, I don't know, five times, four times, bro, they booth is fat. I mean, there's so many people around them, and you know what they do? They don't sell watches from those events. You still have to go online and pick the watch up. They give, they're they there for information. They're giving you information, and they take time with these people, man. And I'm like, that is, I love that. Okay, you say you love the uh, Richard Mill. It has a very normal look. Yeah. Love your vid on it. To so, and Paul. That is chronometer certified, bro, for a thousand dollars. And if you don't want, you know what I'm telling you, listen, I just dropped a video, a short, and yo, I put that watch on today, and I was looking like, oh, oh, get that Melanie's bracelet on it. I said, oh, this thing is hot. I like it. I really like that watch, man. I'm gonna tell you another, um, and I'm just showing watches tonight. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna go through some watches tonight, man. So that right there, my Zanea, right, independent, man. Jason is is an amazing guy. I talk to him. I love talking to him, man. And I think I told him this. I, I, in my opinion, 
the bravery of starting a watch company during COVID when you can't really talk or touch your customers, but you drop it online and the success he's having so far, the watch is solid. Everything about this watch I enjoy. And you do have to take a screwdriver from both sides to actually unscrew this thing. That is the hardest part about doing it, man. But it makes it personal for me. Once I got it, I said, this is my watch. I got it fit to me. Yes, sir. I'm winning. Right? And I got, I got you know, media, right? Beautiful, right? I know the time is off. It was, I, it ran out of power. But let me show you another watch brand that is here. And I'm proud to say that it's here in my home state, which is Indiana. For those of you guys that didn't know that. And that is Visitor watches both of these visitor and flutterman are right here in indiana i actually watched looked at these guys putting this watch together and i actually went to an open house for this watch and when i tell you look at that thing man look at the design look at the design language first and foremost man this watch because so now at this point before i say anything else this may not fit everybody but just imagine this on you right now. Great pair of boots, man. If you guys like Tim's, man, I'm talking about stupid with some Tim's. So it is, it's, it could be dressy. It could be sporty, man. Casual, man. It could be so serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll wear this watch on the interview. Bro, this watch is cold-blooded, man. And I would have never thought, I, me, personally, would wear something like this just based on my lifestyle. But, and then the loom, of course, you know, it's kind of light in here. Uh, but the loom is crazy. The loom is crazy. But this is, and it's not expensive, man. You're not talking, You, if you were lucky enough or blessed enough to go to um, Watches and Wonders and you liked anything, like Kenny said, it was a watch he liked, the IWC. 400K. That's a house, baby. That's a nice house. Christopher Ward is great independent brand. Dang, you got the Zanea. I've been one for a while. Heck yeah, bro, man. I had to get that thing, boy. <laughs> um, you know, the other thing, too, uh, that I've enjoyed so far, and I'm, I I have a state of the collection coming up, man. In my state of collection, I'm going to tell y'all, y'all know I'm a little different, man. I'm weird a little bit. Um, I have to tell a story with mine, and it's probably going to be broken down into, like, maybe two, two episodes because I don't want to show everything because i got like 15 watches this year that i think are amazing watches but then i had like six watches from last year that i definitely enjoy but i got finally got my my hands on one of these bad boys that's from the zellos right think it's a nice and this one wasn't more this wasn't a popular colorway because this one stayed on i don't know they probably still have this available but there were the other colorways so just they sold so quick and you're talking around the $500 mark for this watch but again there's some people in this this is based off y'all comments some people said trap that's still too much I can't afford to spend $500 on a watch I got you covered bro I promise spinnaker spinnaker bro you're talking about this got an NH35 it has sapphire sapphire crystal in it <laughs> Can y'all hear me still? This got Sapphire Crystal on it. And this watch, it plays like a Panerai. Like if they got cushion case, man. Comfortable. I like it, man. Ease of use, man. Solid. I mean, this is a one and done. I promise for, like, even if you're not a watch collector and you say, I just want one watch. That's all I need is one watch. I promise this is a one watch collect. This right here, I, just my personal opinion. Just my personal opinion. It's a one watch thing. That bad boy, man. Check, man. Look at that, bro. This man, you can wear that with anything. Cause I wore this like, you know, like sometimes if you follow me on Instagram and I post a different watch every day, that's one of those watches where I will just I'll wear it and just be like, all right, I'm good. I'm good. Islander watch is great value. Hey man, I'm glad you mentioned that, sir. Glad you mentioned that. Because we're going to get to that one too. That right there was 215 bucks. This has a uh, Miyota 9015. Right? And that thing has, it's not running of course, but it has that linen dial and it's peach. 
Well, they call it coral, but I'll call it peach, bro. Like that right there, man. Man, that thing is cold, bro. Look at the bracelet, man. The loom is great. Mill style class. And now I like this is mine. This is mine. I looked at a video today, and it was a video about people not trusting YouTubers, man. Because like any watch that I show you, man, like some watches I do get from uh Trifecta, he like Mark will allow me to uh or Jake will allow me to take the watch and bring the watch here, show you guys so I can just look at it, whatever. I take it back. You know what I'm saying? And I, I haven't put a paid promotion because, like, it wasn't a gift to me. You know what I'm saying? So I have to look more at the guidelines, but I was looking at um, this guy talking today about people not trusting YouTubers because they don't put that paid promotion down there. And uh, another, like, the comment sections, man, this is crazy, man, because, y'all, if you guys know who you are, I have been talking heavy with y'all in the conversation, uh, either on Instagram uh about youtube or i'm talking to you on in the comment section and i'm telling you flat out if you ask me i'm gonna tell you what i feel uh and there's listen i don't have no affiliation or no ties to no particular company you know what i'm saying i am a watch collector just like you i enjoy it um and if there's no right or wrong way Unless I'm doing something stupid, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, man, spilling bill money to, you know, buy a watch. I understand that. That's the only wrong that that can possibly happen. But, like, I don't have a right, right or wrong way. So, if I collect Invicta, that's because I want Invicta. If I want Deep Blue, that's because I want Deep Blue. Aragon, right? You know what the conversation I had with uh, the source, Dave D, yesterday? We talked about Aragon. Uh, one thing that, I, you know, you don't know the whole story to Aragon, but Wing, for example... What watch companies you know that's out there right now, right now. So this is a full titanium, and I imagine it's grade one, of course. Um, you got, I'm pretty sure, that may be a sapphire. Yeah, it is a sapphire crystal. Sapphire crystal, Miota 9015 in it, and this is a 45 millimeter timepiece, right? Extra, even though it's big, it's still lightweight, right? Really nice. Mill class, the whole nine. Sign rotor. $175. So Wing, I don't know what type of relationship he has or how many movements he buy in Boca. I don't know how he does it, but this watch was $175. But that's sort of like him saying these companies don't have to charge you that much for your watch. Now, I say that to say this. You don't know the entire story because some independents may not have it like Wing. Wing has been in the, in the business for 30 plus years. So if you say, well, crap, dude, why would I go over here and buy this Jack Mason for about $800, right? If you put the bracelet on there, this one got a Miyota movement in it. This one has a Miyota movement in it. I'm going to go Aragon. I'm not here to debate you or say what's the better value. Because sometimes value don't mean jack if that's something that you want. I don't regret having my uh my Jack Mason at a at the price that I bought it for. I don't. I do not. I like my Jack Mason. And I don't have that to get validation from somebody saying, yo, bro, you got a Jack Mason. We know how much you paid for it. Oh man, that is dope. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I wear the mess off that watch, man. I wear that watch on my workouts. I wear it when I'm meditating. Talking, just talking to people. Sometimes I just wear it to bed. And I know some people don't wear their watches to bed, but, you know, I do. Yo, what up, Felix? Yo, Joe is in the building. That's so clean looking now. Workforce movement and the best everyday watch for the value. Yes, I will say so. Trap doesn't. What, the, uh, yeah, the, uh, this has a sapphire crystal, bro. You talking about this? Yeah, this should have a... Yeah, it's a sapphire crystal in there. Why is this platform different? Because it's... Ver I'm doing the vertical live, bro. Vertical live. Vertical, vertical. And, uh, I, you know, before I actually went on, uh, I was looking at the setup 
uh, I can actually go live with somebody else on here. I saw that uh, earlier. So like I could send a person a link, like one of you guys a link, and we both can be on the platform and just splits it up, which I'll be able to do that. I, I want to do that one of these days. One of these days. One of these days. Oh, the Spinnaker. Did I say it had a sapphire crystal? Okay, mineral. My bad. So, here's my deal. Here's my deal. Here's my deal. Um, I don't, you know, like, I, I like to talk about the watches. I love to promote certain watches. Uh, one of the conversations today, man, heavy conversation. So, I talked to Jake over there at a, a Trifecta. And right there, that's a soul. There's a new colorway coming out. And uh man, he gave me some some news because their Longines rep came out. Uh so Longines did not do anything different this year. They didn't bring out anything new, they just bring different colorways and stuff like that. That's it, right? They're not they're not trying to do pretty much, you know, whatever. Uh and I think they actually have uh if anything, I think they got like a 38 millimeter diver or something. Uh I have to confirm, but like I don't, I don't believe that there's anything new coming from long jeans besides colorways. Same thing with PRX, but PRX has a uh, mechanical chronograph that's that runs around eighteen hundred dollars. I saw it today. Well, I actually saw it when it dropped, and uh, really nice watch. I think it's a really nice watch. It may fit fit somebody, but I mean, shoot, Tissot is killing it, killing the game. But that's the argument now is any watch that has that. And I saw the comments for Movado. Movado is getting clown right now because they came out with their version. It's quartz and it's expensive. I think they dropped the price. It was like $800. I want to say they dropped the price to uh, around six or more. Bro, people are in, in clowning, clowning Movado like, yo, <laughs> who do you think you are? But, you know, the thing I'm going to tell you guys this right now, there's a couple places I'm going to tell you. Um, Watches and Wonders, I think, is a, a great watch. I will tell you, to just, just type it in, Watches and Wonders 2024, and then go fr from there. Federico Talk Watches, I watched his today. Uh, Ellie, I watched hers. Uh, and there were four other YouTubers that I watched, and they gave some uh, some great information uh, but it just seemed like this year wasn't the year for Watches and Wonders. It just seemed kind of, ah, because that's the way they disp displayed it. Like, yeah, it wasn't that hype it was like last year, man. So I was like, okay, I know what I'm going to be doing come June 8th. Uh, there's an event up in Kokomo. So if you guys, it was uh, like uh, Whiskey Wheels and Watches. I may be saying it wrong, but it's, you'll get the gist of it. If you're close, man, you got to come out there, man. Oh, and then, what's up, Vinny? That's what I want to talk about. I am, we got this thing, man. We're going to be doing a roundtable. And, and it's basically because I want you guys to see and hear from these, um, my Indiana folks, man. Like the people, like Adam. We gonna, I'm talking to Adam. Uh, we're going to have a sit down and talk more about his watches talk about like where the idea came from and things of that nature, what he got, because he got big news right now. He got some new stuff coming out. Uh, this year is going to be, be an amazing year for the Flederman uh, watch group. And then uh, Kokomo Watch Company, man, with their mods, bro. Like, so y'all know I did this mod with Kokomo. Bro, just know, just know, that I got something custom on the way, something that's been it's in the works. I was just up there yesterday. We had a conversation, and you'll know more about it here shortly. There will be some videos and pictures and stuff coming. Um, Hemi, what's going on? Uh, but just know, clout. Oh, let me see. Movado hasn't had the clout for years to change the price. They oh man, bro. And the thing, man, you know what, I, I, Robert, I, you know, I, I can't say, you know, as a, as a consumer, <laughs> as somebody that is sitting on this side of the table, uh, I don't know what these conversations look like or what's being said or what's been, you know, uh, what the, what the hype is about or what, I don't know their intentions. I just from... Like for myself, like from on the outside looking in, 
I could just imagine they saying, hey, we dropped this is going to be big news. Movado hasn't been out in people's conversations in a long time, right? And they came out with a, an expensive quartz movement that looks like it like it's getting in battle with this. Well, guess what? You can go get it to Seoul right now. And I just saw it today. I saw one of the coldest to Seoul PRX uh, quartz movement. It is all white dial and it has the white uh, strap on it. That thing is ferocious, man. Like under four hundred dollars. So for a company that just made that uh, Robert report or whatever report that report that was uh, for luxury luxury Swiss watches, um, was it Robert Stanley? Something. That is foolishness. Even if they dropped the price to six hundred dollars, man, why? I'm asking the question. And if somebody from Movado saw this, I'm asking the question. Like, what was the whole part? Like, what, you know, what is it about that watch? Because I saw it on Instagram. They showed this. There's no press on it. Nobody, I didn't see anybody on YouTube talk about it, which I'll, you know, once I'm done with this live, I can go research it. But I didn't see anybody talk about that watch. There's no press on that watch whatsoever. Mr. Hightower, what's going on? Paul out of here. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Enjoy your food, brother. You can get them on eBay for $275 or less. You are thinking of the Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley. I said Robert. Because I see Robert's name in there. Thank you, Morgan Stanley Report. Man, Rob, you had, I didn't give you your own report. Bro. <laughs> the Robert Wood Report. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Um... Here's the, here's the deal though, man. Here, here's my deal, is we have an opportunity right now, man, to just really enjoy, man. You have to enjoy what you're doing. You know, um, I was telling um, uh, Jake today, I've been in his store. I can't even count. I, I I just gave up on counting how many times I've been up to Trifecta, which is a 40, 45 minute drive for me, right? And one, his store smells good when you walk in there. It's just like, it just has this smell, like makes you just you're comfortable. You sit down, you have a conversation. Two, um, I've seen the same watches. He like has, you know, a few watches come in here, a few watches there. They're going out, they're coming in, like the people are buying watches. And I think he's like, he was super busy today. And I was just looking, it's like, man, your pick of the litter. You know, you look, you ask, what's the price it is? What's this? Tell me a little bit about this. It is, excuse me, even if you don't buy, it is something just about, you know, just about looking at a watch just does something for me, man. And I didn't buy any watches today. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, I'm not buying anything. You know, I'm not buying, I don't, you know, I plan on getting a watch probably in a few months or whatever, but like right now I want to enjoy because I just showed you a number of watches, and then like the latest trend uh, acquisition is that Nomadic. And you know the thing about this watch, man. I could sit here and make a video of, like, oh, this watch is cool. It can do handstands, man. This thing can flip. It can start the party, man. It can start your car from here. Just you know, twist the crown and your car start. I can say all that stuff, man, to get you all you know, just happy. I just got to go and get that watch. And. The truth of the matter is this watch, um, after listening to the presentation that Peter and his team, um, I think, believe his name is Greg. I like that, first and foremost. I love that rotor on the back. I like the fact that, you know, it does have that, you know, uh, Rolex and, and Tudor vibe. I'm not knocking Rolex or Tudor. And I know and they, we can have some enemy type of conversations when it comes to that brand. And it's more, it's more or less the people, man, because sometimes people can be um, foolish and reckless with their the words that come out their mouth. It's like it comes in their brain, something stupid to say to disrespect you because you're not on the bandwidth of buying a Rolex, and the filter don't keep don't stop it from getting to the mouth, and it comes out, and now you're insulted, and you're like, oh really? And then you're like, it's on, you know what I'm saying? And you're going back and forth, but. To be honest, man, um, the Rolex and Tudor to be homaged and to be copied, to be mimicked, I mean, it is, I mean, it's, dude, 
that's a beautiful thing, man, because it's a proven design. And you can't, I mean, think about where they stand, the Rolex name. I I look at it from the fact that this man was like Hans was made an orphan. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe his mother died first, then his dad. You know, and I know we don't factor that stuff in. It'd be, like at this point, I haven't heard anybody talk about like how the, the humble beginnings of Rolex. I'm like, man, this dude, like still at the end of the day, yes, it is an expensive luxury item. But I'm like, man, this dude lost both his parents. And then uncle sold the business. According to um, what's been recorded in history, I don't know how that that young man felt. You know what I'm saying? He had to continue carrying on. Was he mad at his uncle for selling the business and sending him off to boarding school? He probably hated his uncle. Or maybe, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is now he has a company that is like on top. And now that very same concept is being done by people like Phil from Visitor Watch Company or Adam. Yes. And I keep talking about these two because they, from, like I said, I'm proud that they from Indiana. And I'm right here in Indiana. Yes, sir. B Lamb in the building. What up, bro? You know what I mean? Let <laughs> me say that's why mouth gets slapped. Any ideas for a watch for a retirement party? Ooh. <sighs> Depends on how much you're trying to spend, bro. A retirement party now. Is this are you retiring, bro? Are you are you like you're done? You're one and done, bro? You out of there? Mr. High Tire was. What's the word or what's word? Yeah, House of X. Man, um, let me see. The word is be good. Okay, I'm trying to decipher that. Now, my brother-in-law, how much you gonna spend on it? Because I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you off top, bro. I'm gonna tell you off top. And I don't even know what you spend, what your money is like, man. But for a retirement party, bro, right now. Whoo! I'm going to say long jeans, Zulu time. I don't know where your money at. If that if 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 that's out of your price range, I'm gonna say all right. Come back, get you a PRX uh, chronograph uh, like that. Just with the chronograph, I think that right there. Ooh, ooh. The PRX is tight, man. I'm gonna tell you something. Hey, that PRX hard. Hey, <laughs> that sucker right there is hard, man. And you don't have to get it in the glacier blue. Uh, they got a green, a dark green coming out. Um, they got different colorways, man. I, I would say that. Let me see. Uh, his sister said $250. Hey, man, I love the channel. All I ever wore when I was in the service. Oh, yeah, man, bro. Hey, you, okay, so you're saying $250? 250 is the, uh, is that, is that the price? That's the, uh, range? Um, I will say, uh, if you don't mind quartz, a G Shock for uh, G Shock is it, you talking about? G oh, oh, you talking about that's what you wore, the G Shock. No, that's Sancho. Oh, G. Hey, bro, quit playing with me. Where my G Shock at? It's over here somewhere. Hey, for two fifty though. If if 250 is your limit, um Aragon has some great stuff. Uh oh, Citizen, bro. Don't sleep on Citizen. Oh, uh, man, they got a lot of options around the $250 mark. Or you can even get a a, a field um a Seiko field watch for that price. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those are those are great, those are great watches to get. Or, and like I said, man, that's a perfect one and done right there, bro. That right there, you can get that for about $200. Uh, matter of fact, uh, less than that, man, because I, I paid like $170 for mine or $150, somewhere around there, man. That hole from Spinnaker, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, G Shot. Oh, uh, who? let me see. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> I got a couple pieces, man. I got a couple pieces in here that's like 250. 
Long Island got some watches around that price. Got my G-Shock right here. Yes, sir. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Casio. So pick that out. Nice little edifice right there. You know what I'm saying? And that's that man. That like if you get you can get a good edifice for uh like a buck a buck fifty buck sixty five somewhere like that on uh, Amazon. Yeah, man. But if you really want to get a nice one, man, like and and, and pay less than two fifty, I'm gonna say the two companies off top, man, Aragon or uh Spinnaker off top, <laughs> off top, bro. I'm telling you, those are some. Phenomenal watches, man. Phenomenal. Let me see what we got over here. Let's see what we got in this box over here, man. I got watches everywhere, bro. I got Invicta Ace Lock cases with all kind of stuff in it. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. I got some Androids in there. Aragon. Yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, let's see what's below me. Hey, don't sleep now. I know this is going to cost more than 250 but don't sleep on, on this right there. Nice field watch. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's from the Cincinnati Watch Company on point. And even though they're not from Indiana, they like, they about, what, an hour and a half from here, which ain't no time to drive. Uh, I'll drop it to you. I got I, I do I got a couple promo codes. I want to say it's trap twenty because I like I, I got my own code. Uh, yeah, but I, I know I know for a fact, bro. You will love you will definitely man. Hold up, I'm gonna tell you one of the hardest spinnaker holes that I have had the pleasure of wearing is that boy right there, like that lava stone on there. Oh. With that California down and that leather, man. Shut your mouth, man. That's good. That's some good stuff right there, boy. Spinnaker doing their thing, boy. They know how to make me happy. Yes, sir. Like my man said, showing up that stuff. I've always thought a retirement watch should be gold. So here's one. Rose gold rising and dress watch from the island. Ooh, yes, bro. Yes. Yep, man. Hey, Robert. Yup. Yup. Jay Jones. Jay Jones, you definitely would go, Eric Guy. You you definitely would. Uh so yeah, man. Yeah. So getting back to has a beautiful chocolate doll. They are 227. Yes. That's one thing I like about the Islander watch company too, man. Uh Mark has just about everything on this channel. On his website, just about anything that you want, man, as far as watches. Well, then that's what I wanted to to allude to. Um, because I tell, I'm going to tell you something, man. And, and to be honest, one thing that I took for granted on this platform is you can't, you kind of think that, you know, like everybody knows, like, oh, you should know that already. Or you should know this information. And when I'm getting your questions down there and people are like, hey, where is this at? Or how did you find this out? Or, you know, what company is that? When I was at uh, Minutes and Hours, uh, was that last, or a week before last, there was people that didn't hurt, they never heard of the Zanea Watch Company, they never heard of Cincinnati Watch Company, there were some companies I hadn't heard of, and, I mean, dude, so, I don't want to take, for, you know, for granted, and I was completely, um, you know, thrown off by that, like, man, you know what, it just makes me think, like, let me, let me get myself together when, don't, like, when, actually doing YouTube, man, uh, because I don't want to, I don't want to give any bad information or miss out on stuff, man, um, and I'm constantly coming across all type of stuff all day anyway, uh, I travel a lot, you know, like finding new companies, finding new ADs, uh, I do want to see, um, what, you know, what they have to offer next week when I go out to, to Reese Nichols, now, I do know that they do, they, they carry IWC and Oris, they carry Rolex and Tudor, um, and Shinola, 
And I can't think of they they have I want to say there's like four or five other brands. Oh, they they do have um crap, crap, why can't I think of this darn watch company? Cartier, they have Cartier. They have Cartier there. So and I think I've shown you guys pretty much everything too. Uh and one thing I am big on right now, y'all. No joke. No joke. Storage solutions, man. I'm telling you, y'all, I did this watch roll. And some of y'all that's in here right now that wasn't on the channel, you didn't see this the other day. Q watch. I got a watch roll from Q watch. See the buttons? Three buttons unfold. And I got the green because that green just, man, that thing just slaps. Man, I love this, man. That color is so hard. I like it. Yeah, newness. Newness, like smelling your gym shoes when you first get them. But yeah, man, I'm telling you, storage solutions is important. When you're traveling, and I know some of us, like, go on these different events and stuff like that, man. So when I went out to Minutes and Hours, I literally took a number of my watch rolls. Now, if you buy a visitor watch, which is this bad boy right here. And I also have, wait a minute, hold up. Where you at? Where are you? I got so many darn watches around me right now. I'm just going crazy. I'm going crazy. Dang it. It was just right here. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I know if once I calm myself down, I'll, I'll find it. So I'm going to show you my two visitors that um, you guys, if you don't know, now you know. And this, I didn't know this. Zellos, I, I got other watches in this, but this is my Zellos watch roll. So when you when I bought it, I got this, which is cool, man. This thing is is legit. So when I bought this right here, this right here is a visitor, forty millimeter Linden, Linden Fall. You see that got the lion in there. So those striations or those stripes are actually the lion's mane. But look at that blue, though. Look at that blue. Oh, you see how rich that is? The loom they got, and this is their watch roll. This is one of them. That comes with the watch, but I got, you know, I have other watches. Another watch in there. And the other watch roll, which I was told that this was an older watch roll. But I love that red in there, man. So that's the older logo. I'm like, man, I like these, man. They pretty solid. Pretty solid. So that's another company, man. I'm gonna tell you. Visitor watch. And I'm gonna leave the last watch of the, the last watch that I'm gonna show you. What's going on, Leo? The last watch I'm gonna show you is one of my favorite watches uh from Citizen right now, man. And that's my Godzilla. That's that Godzilla boy. One of the best movies that I've seen this year. Now, I know um, there are a number of movies. Right now, I am currently watching Fallout. And anybody that played that game, I'm watching the series on um, Amazon Prime. Interesting. It is very interesting. And this is crazy because I played that game. I played a lot of hours of Fallout. And... It's, it, it's to the point where I'm actually about to buy Fallout again. Because <laughs> I haven't played Fallout since like 2019, man. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that they got this game out right now, I'm like, oh, I'm definitely, I mean, a movie or a sitcom or a show or whatever, series. I'm definitely going to see that. I'll watch, I'll get the game. Uh, also, 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 um, I'm not, I'm not going to spoil nothing. I'm not going to tell you. 
But if you played the game, I promise, like, it just adds to it if you played the game. It just, it hits you. You're like, yo, that's crazy. Um, Yeah, I, I like it. But if, you, if you've if you never played the video game, you can still follow along if you like that sci-fi sci type of stuff going on, survival type of stuff, because it's crazy. <laughs> and I like it, though. I like it. I like it. I like it. Uh, this year, I do watch uh, movie reviews. I watch, um, you know, where, like, Disney is right now and Disney being in trouble. This year, uh, I was looking at a, st a statistic that movie watching has been down uh, by a significant percentage. And I just saw the trailers. I just watched, uh, was it Tyrone Magnus? I don't know if you guys watch him. Uh, he just did a review or a response to that new Transformers 1. And it's animated. I personally love Transformers. I have a number of Transformers behind the camera that that's like I dig like I really like Transformers GI Joes off top. Off top. I got a Bench Fallout and X-Men. Oh, Space G. Bro, if you ain't seen that X-Men 97 yet, whoo -hoo, wait, bro. Hands down, one of the best things that Disney got on their show right now. Unless you one of those that got y'all got the jailbroken stuff and you got Pelican or you paying for service and you get all of the uh, the movies. Stop. Don't act like y'all don't have it because you got it. Yeah, I already know. Um, bro, you got to watch X-Men 97, bro. That thing goes stupid. Oh, my goodness, man. Ah. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, sir. X Men go hard, boy. That thing, boy, boy, boy. Ah, man, that's crazy. That's crazy. But yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. So let's bring this thing back around. Let's let's wrap up real quick. Let's wrap up real quick. Let me see. We've been on almost an hour. I've been talking for nearly an hour. Y'all know I don't care talk. I could talk for another two hours. Uh, <laughs> I can too. I will say, as far as watches are concerned, uh, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to sit here and tell you be on the lookout for a particular watch. I'm not. Um, the watch companies that I'm subscribed to right now, um, I, and I'm actually winding up one of them right now, it is one of my favorite watches to wear, to walk out with, and to work out in. Uh, it's super comfortable and it's accurate enough for me to just enjoy. And I love the smell. I absolutely love the smell of this watch, man. Um, I get a, a lot of enjoyment out of this piece just by looking at the watch. You know what I'm saying? And, and I get the the whole the history of Zodiac because Zodiac was one of those. It was there in 1953, right? So it was one of the more expensive ones. It was more expensive than a Rolex Back in 1953, which I don't think the Rolex was so, it wasn't, the Rolex wasn't out the same time this came out, but it came out like a little shortly after, like extremely shortly after. But this was the more expensive one. Uh, so you had the uh, Black Pond and this and Rolex, and this is a 1953 Skin Diver. I absolutely enjoy this watch. And I saw... A number of people, uh, companies, um, dropped the price on this from a thousand dollars to like eight seventy five, eight twenty five, somewhere around there, eight fifty ish. And if you ask me if the watch is worth it, man, like I don't know, you have to ask yourself that, man, really, because I mean, it worked for me, it may not work for you. For eight fifty, you may be like, hey, for eight fifty, I can buy like a couple watches, you know what I'm saying? And you could. For eight fifty, you can buy a number of Aragon pieces, you know, you can buy. Uh, some spinnakers, you know, if that's, if you want to pad your collection, uh, I don't, I don't shop like that. I'm very, I'm very specific, like on what I want and this fit the bill for what I wanted. So I'm not going to say this will work for you, but it worked for me and I like it. And I didn't pay a 50 for it either. Just saying. Nope. No, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I didn't. You say you need one more hour? Okay, I, I ain't gonna get off just yet, bro. Um, 
ain't gonna get off yet. I said I was gonna I wanna go show them my watches. I lied. Uh <laughs> well, I didn't lie, but now I just, you know what I'm saying? So shameless plug, Matt's watches. I didn't get these watches from Matt, but I got this stand. I got this watch from Matt. And if you're uncomfortable about buying from eBay, I bought this off of eBay and he has to put used watches because I don't know where he get his watches from. I really don't. And I don't care because it's like magic because I know that this watch, when I got it from him, was still pulling in over $1,000. Some companies had this watch. For, I want to say it was around $800. I didn't pay that for this. So all I'm going to tell you is the best way to shop on eBay is email like those people, those messages. When you send them a message, just ask them. Would you like do something realistic, man? So if, for example, where's that watch at? Uh, da, 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 da. This was a popular uh, uh, Invicta timepiece, right? And this one is going for like $1,400 on one somebody's page. Then they're going like for six seventy five, eight hundred, dollars somewhere around there. So you know, if this thing, let's just say this thing is ranging anywhere from seven fifty to fourteen hundred dollars. If that watch is going for that, don't come on there and say, "Hey, man, would you take one hundred and seventy five dollars for this watch?" Because it's not serious, bro. It's not a serious offer. You know what I mean? I would say a more serious offer. You know, like if you got, bro, five hundred, and he'd be like, "Hey, man, they asking this dude's asking eight hundred. I'm like, "Hey, that's all you got is five hundred. Like, hey, bro, would you take five hundred and not pay for shipping?" They may say, "Yeah, that happened last year. We were following that watch, man, the blue version, right?" Dude had it up there for twelve hundred dollars for the longest, almost like two years, and that dude sold it for like five fifty. I was like, "What?" And all they did was reach out to him, like, "Hey, bro, would you take this?" I did that for this one. I know how much he wanted on it. I, me and him talked about the price. We, boop. So it's going to come down to negotiation, man. So don't be afraid to negotiate uh, on eBay. And this is another watch that I like this Alpina. Uh, my uh, Ocean Trash watch. And I call it Ocean Trash because that's what it is made out of. That material is from plastic that people have been throwing water bottles off ships and all, all the water, all the trash that's circulating in the ocean. Once they clean it up, they go through this process. Even the strap is made out of recycled materials, which is cool. And the percentage of it, not, not this watch, because whoever bought it first, that percentage, there was a percentage that went to conservation purposes. When I bought it, I bought it from an eBay seller, which is Matt, and I paid a discount price. Very discounted. And I appreciate the discount because it's a nice watch. It's comfortable. I like it. I really, really like this watch. And don't forget, Aragon is another timepiece. Uh, Y'all want to see my Cartier? I was actually going to do a video on this Cartier. I got a Cartier. Y'all want to see my Cartier? Hold up. Hold up. About eBay. Yup, you know. Oh, somebody just left me a message. Press like while coming in. Thank you. Thank you. All right, hold on. Let me reach. Oh, uh, come on, Cartier. Y'all see that? Cartier, baby. Your boy got a Cartier. Let me tell you something. Uh, Cartier never released this watch. My parents bought this watch years ago from some bootlegger and told them that it was a Cartier. They was on vacation. My mom was on vacation. This was years, years, years ago. Now, there is a Cartier that is shaped. So just imagine this shape, right, sideways, this way. This is how the watch is supposed to be. So whoever copied this watch and told my mother that that's a real Cartier, shame on you. It still works, though. It works. Sound crazy when you wind it up. I'm like, oh, the grind is hard. Can you? Yeah. And then it has, like, these function pushes on the side over here. 
that is supposed to uh, do something. Let me see. Do I have something to poke the bear? Let's see. What does this do? That don't even work. I thought I had something sharp in here to poke. But whatever. It it works though. What time is it? What time is it? Hustle me. <laughs> I got what you need, Chief. I got something that you gonna dig. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, it hacks too. It hacks. But can y'all hear that? Retro Gaming, what's going on? So, yes, this right here is a Cartier from Perrier, from Paris. And y'all see it work. But it is a knockoff because the original, uh, which is an older design, the actual Cartier was supposed to be this way, and the dial is actually up. You know what I'm saying? Like, so... They didn't even make a good bootleg. And I doubt the person that sold this is watching. But just in case you ever watch, shame on you, sir, because you took you took my mom. You took her money and told her that she had a real Cartier. And she gave me this watch. She thought she gave me an heirloom, something that was just like, but it, it is, honestly, because she got it. So uh, my dad wore this watch. So my dad's skin was in this, and my dad passed away 2017. So... Uh, I will never get rid of this watch, and I will wear it. Don't care. It tells time. So, tell. <laughs> oh, a fresh Cartier and three DVDs. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In the cut, yes, sir. Yeah, man, I appreciate everybody in here, man. Yeah, um, so, so, um, what do we know, boys and girls, when it comes to watch and watch collecting and stuff like that, man? Uh, it is really, oh, it is, man, it is, man, because, like, all right, so, thank you for saying that. I mean, these two belong, this, my dad, like, here's a crazy thing, y'all. Let me tell you something. This is a Timex. And it still worked, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, granted, I'm going to have to get it cleaned up and stuff like that. I still haven't taken it down to um, Kokomo Watch Company to get, you know what I'm saying, cleaned up and stuff like that. Um, I am. I'm going to take it down there and have them, you know, spruce it up. But y'all see, that thing still work. My dad used to wear this to work, man. Like... I went on his job site. He was in construction. So my dad literally wore this. And you know, you know how it's crazy? You know what's crazy is I was supposed to go see my dad right before he died, man. I was at work. I was work. I was an assistant manager at Enterprise. And uh I never forget I talked to him and that was gonna be the first time I got to barbecue for him because I want to show him that I can barbecue. I'm like, Dad, I watched you so long that where I want to show you, you know what I'm saying, what's happening. And I was going to get all the meat. I was going to get everything. I was like, he ain't had to do nothing but just eat. You know what I'm saying? I was going to go on the grill and do my thing. And my mom called me. It was a Friday. It was, uh, I got off. What time did I get off? Normally, I think the store that we were at closed at 5 o'clock. Because uh, we was inside of a body shop. And my mom called around 4.15. I want to say 4.15 that day. And I dropped my phone. When she told me he died, just had a heart attack right then and there, man. I was like, he was, I mean, he was right there. She left the house, came back saying, crap, she forgot her purse, and came in and was asking me, like, hey, James, do you want something from the store? He didn't answer. She came downstairs, and he had just, like, fell over, you know, clutching his chest. He had a heart attack, man. And she called me right there after she called the ambulance or whatever, and, uh, yeah, yeah, so once all that stuff was gone and over with, man, 
Um, you know, people came in like vultures, bro. And they, you know, like they took my dad's cologne. Uh, he had some other, like, you know, my dad had a collection of watches. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you this. My dad bought a Rolex. Oh, my mom bought my dad a Rolex. And my dad did not care, did not care about the care or maintenance of this Rolex. And he wore it on the job site. So that Rolex is still at the crib. Cracked crystal, the whole man. My dad was like, he, man, he put that Rolex through the dungeon, bro. Like he did not care. <laughs> he said, it's a watch. I'm going to wear it. But um, the watches that I bought my dad, the first watches I've ever bought him, um, somebody took them. I don't know who. Somebody got them. They're gone. So, and all his cologne, that was the one thing, like, I would have never used that cologne just, you know what I'm saying, just to hold the bottle. But I got his watch. I got that watch, man. So, and y'all see, this is what he used to wear on, this, on the construction site. Y'all see all that, man. This watch is beat up. And it's from the 70s. So, yeah. That's the one thing about uh, time, man, and these, these heirlooms. I have children and grandchildren. And that's something I'm going to, like, when, they, when I'm gone, they're going to be like, and there's and guess what? As long as YouTube is available, kids, if you're watching this at this point, there's certain watches that I will say is that's it for me, right? You know, oh, upside down. Heirloom type pieces, you know what I'm saying? Special pieces, right? Special pieces. Special to me. Right? So you know, hold up. Alright? That's that's for my kids. That's like, you know. Special, nomadic, special. And you know how dope that is right now? We're living in an era where we have, that's what I was going to say earlier, man, when I was talking about Hans uh, Wilsdorf and Rolex um, and the creators of uh, AP, the creator of Cartier, all of the watch masters. Um, dude, we're living in an era where you get to meet these people. Adam... From Adam and uh, Adam and Adam Fle Adam Fletterman, um, I can text him or call him. Phil, I can set up an appointment and go to the spot and just hang out with him. Kokomo Watch Company, which I'll be with them next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, uh, we'll be doing a video together. The first round table for the state of Indiana. Um, a YouTuber consumer with a watchmaker, right? I'm going to be doing this with, with, with them. That video will be coming out that Friday uh, once I get everything edited. Um, and you'll see from my perspective and their perspective and what they got coming out, man. They got some new mods that they got coming out. I have a watch that is being created right now. Uh, and I would love to get you guys' feedback, you know, once that watch comes out. You know, uh, we, we may talk about, you know, making another one, man, that could be for sale. You know what I'm saying? So... It just depends, man. Like, wearing a Timex Marlin Chrono right now. That is so dope, Rob. So, yeah, man. Um, man, Peter from Nomadic. Like, that, you know how dope that is? That you can talk to a watchmaker, period. Even if you don't buy it. So, this is why I'm saying um, you will have an opportunity. Chicago, wind up. July 12th, uh, watches, whiskey, and wheels, or maybe whiskey, watches, and wheels, just depend on what comes first. If you drive there, wheels, hit some whiskey, and go buy a watch. However you want to put it, it's going to be in Kokomo June 7th. And then um, later on in the year, there is in September, if you're going up Toronto, going up north, all the way up north, um, they have a Toronto show, a micro brand show. Jason from Zanea Watches is hosting his very first. And I think that thing is going to be phenomenal. Uh, my man Phil from Visitor Watches is going to be there. I don't know if I'll be able to go. If I'm able to go, I am there. I promise you I am there. And then they have a wind-up in New York, which is the biggest from what I've seen. Is the largest. I've seen some videos from San Francisco, which I think that's this weekend. If I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken. Um, but the New York one is like 
that's it. That's the biggest one. Uh, there's going to be an intersect. I think later on this year, maybe two intersects. Minutes and hours, Austin, November. Man, you have to, if you haven't been to a minutes and hours, and that's the thing too, like, because I don't know where you guys are in the world. Um, but I always say that if it's like two to three hours away from you, it's worth doing. Crap, bro. I I flew into Texas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I flew out to Texas. That was a lot, and that sucked. Connecting flights, man. I don't hate them. I don't like connecting flights, man. I just want to go there and you know come back. That. Coming back to Indy, oh, that sucked, man. That sucked. Six hour layover, man. I was like, what? This is trash. Robert, Time X was my very first watch when I was about 10 years old. Wow, that was a long time ago, Jay. Wow, 10 years old? Wow. I can't even, man, I can't even imagine back that far, let alone think. Man, sheesh. Not you know, I ain't trying to be funny, Jay. I'm just saying, you know, like you was 10, bro. You like what 115 right now? Sheesh, I was long. <laughs> I was playing, Jay. I was playing, bro. I was just messing with you, bro. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me see what yeah, Jay Jones. I have the reissue they put out last year. My first watch in 1969 was it? A... Man, 1969 was a good year for Oldsmobile. That was 1912. Woo! <laughs> hey, you was on the Titanic, 1912. <laughs> you need to get you a nomadic, bro. Nomadic, Titanic. You see the connection there, 1912? Yeah. <laughs> Felix started it, bro. I didn't say nothing about the, the year, bro. I want, I, look, Jay. Felix, man, Felix, he said you was born in 1912 or you was 10. No, he said you were 10 in 1912. Woo! Sheesh. Mm, mm, mm. Man, you old as dirt, bro. You created the first peanut butter and jelly sandwich, bro. Dang. You old. You old, brother. It's all right, though. It's all right, man. You, 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 are, you are Jerry, man. You are our Jerry. Um, also, before I go, look at that. Peep that out. Strap a holic. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, I got this from the Minutes and Hours show, and I want to thank them for blessing me with this, man. Rich Park. Shout out to Rich Park, man. What's on the wrist? Shout out to my man because, bro, look at that, man. Look at that. Got a little taste of Americana up there. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, man. Get yourself a good strap. Change the look of your watch, boy. I'm telling you. Don't sleep on it. Do not sleep on it, man. This thing, whoo. Ah. Good leather, boy. That leather, man. Mm, mm, mm. That's some good stuff, boy. In high school, I got a Casio with a calculator on it. I had one of them, too. I got in trouble. Wearing a nomadic on the Titanic, you would be dead, but the watch would still be... <laughs> I'm not laughing at y'all. I'm not. I'm not doing this with y'all today. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be dead. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, what's in here? Oh. This, I got watches everywhere, y'all. George Washington Carver in his yearbook. Hey, I'm telling you, man, because you, yeah, yeah, you caught that, right? Yeah. <laughs> I ain't messing with you, bro. I am not messing with you. At all. Nope. Mm -mm. Um, I keep saying lastly. But. I have to give my man a shout. To. Bro, this is so, so dope, man. Look at that. 
bear sweat. That's a magnet. And then, of course, you got the stickers. You got the glass case. And, you know, it's nothing, nothing like buying accessories, but then buying the clothing and the other items that, like, companies have, like Fair and Sweat. Glasses, yo. Look at those glasses. That watermelon, boy. Ooh-wee. And these floating water, too, man. Good plan, bro. They fit on my big old head. Polarized jumps, man. That thing is hard, bro. And they go on my... Man, bro. I mean, we wearing this for the rest. Oh, I can't see. Hold up. All right. We still love you, JJ. Yeah, man. So this right here, Fair and Sweat. Go on their website, man. Yes, I'm promoting everybody, man, because I want everybody to win, bro. Like, I promise. Oh, that look good, man. Oh, bro, that look good, man. I want everybody to win, man. I want everybody to win, honestly. You know, like, and I'm not against, I'm not against you know, like, the big companies, you know. Shoot, they don't need no help. They good to go. Like, the Rolexes and the APs, uh, y'all seen it, the Morgan Stanley Report. Uh, Tissot was in the top 10. Uh, Long Jeans was in the top 10. Well, Swatch, Swatch Group as a whole, of course, Rolex was number one at, uh, like, oh, they were rocking over 30% of the market share. Um, there's a lot of, I can't remember who, I have to go back and look, but, um, shoot. I can't remember everybody that was in there. But I think AP was in there somewhere. Richard Mill, they sold 5,000 watches last year. Average price, 275,000 per unit. And of course, you know, there were some that were 500,000, some that were a million, but like the average cost was 275,000. Same cost as a house in my area. Rolex, number one. Cartier, did. thank you, thank you, that's right. Omega was number three. Thank you, thank you. Drake included a hat and a keychain. He shipped that Blue Angels. Yeah, I, when I went in, I had went in there and seen it was out of the uh, the case. So only got memories of it. I actually recorded your watch before uh, it it got up out of there. So yeah, it's in your collection now, man. That's that's dope. I like that uh, the helmet case though, man. Like the glasses come down. I think that's dope. Yeah, fair and switch swag, man. Uh, and it's not cheap. You know, it's not it like it don't feel flimsy, man. I I like it, man. It's so dope. It is so dope, man. And I I will buy stuff like it's made out of wood, bro. Like it's, it's the glasses are wood, man, but the lenses are amazing. I don't even know who he has do this, like who constructs this for him. But these are going on my Invicta Cruise with me. Best believe it, man. I'm taking a bit of a piece of fair sweat with me. Um and I think that we're just in a great time, man. Honestly, uh, as far as being collectors, man, we're in a great time right now because uh, whether you subscribe to a main brand or not, um, we're like the watches are accessible, and you don't have to rush to get any, you know. And the price ranges are good, you know. what I'm saying some of the like long jeans is they do have some expensive stuff, but I think like. The least expensive long jeans I saw, like if you want to get it's like seventeen hundred dollars for Hydro Conquest, but there's always deals going on. So I'm thinking like, wow, what fifteen hundred dollars to get you into one of those? But we're talking, um, and I'm saying that because I mean, there's a number of you guys that will spend two to three thousand dollars means nothing to some people with buying watches. It's just that's just the way it is. But um, some people they're they're like, hey man, two fifty. I, I we talked about this three weeks ago, and I think for the most part, everybody that had that I asked that question to you guys say stated that um, around uh, I think up to five hundred dollars was the max. He was like, hey, up to five, and I'm good to go. Uh, I actually. 
uh, I'm going to end it right here because I got to go pick a kid up for work. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that part right there. Hey, I appreciate you guys rocking with me this long. I appreciate you guys. Look, we've been on for an hour and 19 minutes. It's been amazing. Uh, I never I, I never have a dull moment with you guys, man. I just enjoy this stuff, man. Um, if you guys want to do this type of uh, format with me, I can bring one more person up here. We can have Watch Talk. Um, I know me and Vic, are, we're, we're still talk, in talks about having, you know, two bros in a watch uh, that'll be coming up. But, yeah, so next week, next Thursday, uh, I'm sorry, next Friday, new videos coming out. Me sitting down with Kokomo Watch Company, man. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait for that. And then be looking at them. It's going to be next. And then everybody else, <sighs> enjoy. Sit back. Don't rush into no watch. Jay Jones, go. That doesn't mean you, Jay Jones. I know you're going to buy as many watches as you want to buy. But just enjoy life, man. Don't take it too serious. Y'all already know what it is to the next lightning strike, man. Y'all be blessed. Thank y'all for watching.